Hello, let's do a quick button demo. So um, instead of using the button tag, I would actually recommend using um, an anchor tag and styling it like a button. Um, because uh, if there's no form associated with the button, um, you'll get an HTML error. So I'm just gonna like, I'll just put a pound here um, and then I'm gonna give this a class of button. And then um, I'm just gonna like, um, I'll just wrap this in a paragraph just so I can <clears throat> add some space to it. Okay. Oh, there's no, <laughs> there's no text in there. Okay, click me. Okay, so um, here's my button and I'm gonna style it. So I'm going to go, I made a CSS folder and inside it there's a style.css. I haven't linked to it yet, so let's do that now. Type in the word link and then hit tab, and then you can say CSS slash style dot CSS. Okay, so in that file, let's add a class dot button, and I'm going to give it a background color of, uh, I'm going to use this red a lot today, um, of red. I'm going to give it some padding so it's a little more, so, um, let's look at this right now. If we look at now, it just colors sort of the basic area, so we want to add some padding to that. Padding, I'll do 12 pixels on the top and then um, 16 pixels on the left and right. So the first value will do top bottom and the second value will be do left right. Let's take a look at that, okay, a little better, and then let's add um, Border radius. So border radius is pretty sweet. You can um, change the shape of um, squares and rectangles. So if I was to say 50%, I could get um, a circle or in this case an oval because it's not square. Um, this is a nice one to use. But let's do just some slightly rounded corners. So I'm going to say 12 pixels. So we've got sort of button-like thing. Let's change that text and get rid of that underline. Uh, I'm going to say color equals white, and then I'm going to say text decoration none. Okay, so basic button setup. Um, let's do the hover state. So I want to have a dot button colon hover, and this is going to be if I mouse over it. So maybe on hover, um, we'll change the background color. To, um, this is a yellow color, FF9900. Okay, hover. Okay, so we know that hover works. What we're going to do is we're going to set up an animation. Um, oh, one more. Okay, we'll do this first. Okay, so um, animation name. We're going to just give it a name. So I'm going to say button dash hover. Animation. See how that is not purple? It's because I had a typo there. Okay. And then animation duration. And this is going to be how long it takes for it to um, run this animation. So I'm just, I'll say one second for now. And then we're going to have an at keyframes. At keyframes. And then we're going to name it the same thing. We're going to give it this name of button hover. And then we're going to do some curly brackets. So there's a few ways to do this. Um, there's, uh, let's look up how to style that. W3C animations. <coughs> okay, I think this is the basic one. So first let's do from to. So it's going to start at something from and then it's going to end at something. Um, so in this case, let's just like two. So I'm going to put that in the two. I'm going to say background color is going to go to this yellow. And I'm going to say that it's going to go from this red. OK, so let's give this a try. Okay, so it's doing that in one second, but see how it like snaps back. Um, we want to add animation um, timing function, I believe. Um, 
timing function forwards. Okay, not that. Um, we just, someone found this in class. Wait, let me make sure that it's not the semicolon. Maybe it's animation play state. Nope, <laughs> totally forgot. Let me look it up. CSS animation, CSS. Uh, animation fill mode. Okay. There we go. Okay. So animation fill mode. That one, I always forget that one. Okay. So now when we hover, it should just stay at the end. Okay. Awesome. So, um, this is fairly ugly, but, um, we can instead, uh, this is, you'll see this a lot. So if I add a border, so border, um, of I'll say two pixels solid and then that red color. Um, I can go from, um, let's see, let's do um, this. Um, I happen to know that this color in RGBA, because we did this yesterday in class, is um, 2500, so or 255. Um, for red, zero for green, RGB. I did this yesterday too, RGBA. <laughs> red, green, blue, alpha. Okay, um, zero. And then the alpha channel, we can, um, in this case, let's set it to zero. So at first there's not gonna be any red. And then instead of this, I wanna change, I wanna copy this. We're gonna go from um, no background color to a solid background color um, so that just the border is there at first and then we um, fill it in. And of course that text color is not going to work as white. Um, hmm. I guess I could actually, oh this is good, let's do this. So let's make the text color red. Um, and then we want it to change. So let's add another style here for each one. Background color. So we want it to start at red and then we want it to um, change to white. Um, I'm just gonna use the hex. Um, pound, uh -oh. sorry my dogs are barking. And then when the red is totally red, we're going to change it to white. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't quite get it right. Let's see. Color. Um, pound. F -F -O -O -O. Okay. So now when I click it, it changes to white. Um, okay. Um, so in CSS... Um, if you if you do a search for W or W3S or W3C um, CSS animations, you'll get to this tab, this animations tab. Um, there's a lot here. I want to keep this brief, so I may do another one about rotation. Um, but take a look around, and I will also send some other resources. Um, all right, thanks.